Hey, it's Friday, June the 6th, 2008, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tate, your host. Today is National Yo-Yo Day. And what better day, really, than National Yo-Yo Day to take a look at the potential Republican nominees for Vice President. Yesterday, I took a look at the Democrats, and today it's the Republicans' turn. So, happy Friday. Let's get started with the nominees. First off, J.C. Watts, Fred Thompson, Joe Lieberman, Duncan Hunter, Tom Ridge, and Rudy Giuliani. Thanks for playing. You're not getting the call. Now it's time to turn our attention to the candidates that have a better crack at this thing. Mark Sanford, Governor of South Carolina. If you love Cheney, you'll love this guy. Mitt Romney's on the short list. Really? Mitt Romney? Yeah. You know what McCain likes about Mitt Romney? If the two of them are ever alone together, McCain feels very safe because he'll be protected by Mitt Romney's hair helmet. Condoleezza Rice is on the short list because, well, she was one of the architects of the Iraq War, one of the greatest triumphs in the history of mankind. Jeb Bush is on the list. That's Jeb with an exclamation point because he is John McCain's Hillary Clinton. You know what I'm saying? Everyone needs a relic from the late 20th century that they hang on to. Mine? Kajagoogoo. Elizabeth Dole finds her way onto this exclusive list. Elizabeth Dole, can you believe it? Here's the thing about Liddy Dole. She's actually older than John McCain. Yeah older. And her husband's on the Viagra. So what I'm saying is she can't be vice president. She's too tired. Mike Huckabee is in the thick of this hunt. Mike Huckabee personally is the guy that I'm pulling for because let's admit it, McCain Huckabee, clearly the most entertaining pair you can imagine listening to for the next six months. But we all have to ask ourselves, how much crazy can one ticket stand? Charlie Crist is on just about everybody's short list as one of McCain's potential running mates because he is the governor, of course, of Florida and could help the GOP snag this very critical swing state. The dashing 50-something-year-old bachelor poses this problem for the Republicans, however. I'm sure they're not relishing the possibility of more stories about toe-tapping in men's airport restrooms. All right, we're at the cream of the crop. We're up to number three on the list. Who is Bobby Jindal, whose last name I'm certain to be butchering right now because I haven't heard it said aloud much, not watching uh, people on TV talk about him. I read about him in the papers, however, and they don't tell you in the papers how to say his name, but he is the governor of Louisiana, and uh, he's pretty popular. He's a young guy, 36 years old, young enough really to be McCain's grandson. His first name, by the way, is really Payouche, which I'm sure Sure, I'm saying wrong, but he changed his name. He named himself after Bobby Brady of the Brady Bunch. Do we really want that in the White House? Bobby Br He could at least have gone for Greg and gone for the suite upstairs with the beads and the shag carpet, but no, he went for Bobby Brady. Anyway, he's a Hindu, which I thought was on the list for the Republicans of religions you can't be and run the country. Isn't that on the list? Can someone check the list? I think there's only one religion on the list that you can be, and that's Christian, but he converted. He's a smart guy. He converted from Hindu when he was in high school, so he's on the list. Number two, number two, Sarah Paulin, the governor of Alaska. She is immensely popular. Republicans just love her because, well, here's the deal. She's a former beauty pageant winner, and she likes guns. That's unbeatable. In fact, that's exactly how they pick the anchors on Fox News. And finally, the number one name on the list, the person that I think John McCain ought to select as his running mate is Minnesota's Governor Tim Pawlenty, a very important swing state, Minnesota. He's the governor. He puts that in the Republican column for the GOP. And as I said yesterday about the Democrats, I think these guys ought to be selecting people that reinforce their strengths. Pawlenty is a funny guy. He'd loosen up John McCain, they'd be a terrific pair. You know what Palenti said the other day? He said his wife loves to fish. She loves football. Now, if he could only convince her to have sex with him, he'd have something. Now, that's an entertaining pair I'd have to take a look at. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody. Catch you on Monday. Hey, what happened to Jim DeMint?